Well, here we are. Uh, we're doing some aquaponic growing of plumerias. Uh, I'm growing all my plants in this tube, which is seven inches by two inches. And the media that I use in the tube is, this, is the bird's nest core. And when we pull these out, you can see the roots. The roots are just starting to come out on this one here, and that's the time I take them out and transplant them. And you can see what the roots look like in the tube. When did you plant it? Uh, when did it germinate? Were, these were planted 316. And it's May 4th? Yeah. Okay. So, All right. Uh, anyway, that's the, this is ready to go now. This I'd, I'd uh, put some uh, hormone on that and stick it back in the another pot and away it goes. Uh, in fact, we'll take two or three of these out of here and see what they look like. And notice how many of these have branched. Very common for these to have branches. And they all get, they all get the same light, the same water. There's no variation in uh, uh, water we don't feed them any chemicals, it's just uh, the uh, fish waste is what uh, fertilizes everything. Now the fish put out ammonia, and which is an NH3. Uh, then the, there's nitrosomous bacteria in, in the grow beds in here, and that converts it to a nitrate, which the plants can use. And then what's left over goes back into the tank again, and the, and the process continues. So the only thing I use in here is just fish food and light, and that's the way it is. The water comes up here okay. in this. Oh, okay. Like so, and I, I have this little extra tube on here, and what I do with it is I, when the, when the plants are small, let me grab this over here. When the plants are small, I would go along and, and uh, water the seedlings mm -hmm. and get them going. And now that they're big, uh, there's no need to. I just leave it in here and and uh, just let it be. Hmm. So anyway, let's see. Let's grab another one over here. Let's see what this one looks like. We'll take these over and see what the roots look like in. Um, and these are all planted at the same time. And see, they're just full of roots. So hmm. these are just about ready to take out now. And they come out, they come out all together, the roots stay together in the core. They grow through the core and uh, so the roots come out as one mass and you just take that and plant it right in your pot and you're ready to go. Hmm. And you're starting out with a two-month-old seedling that looks like that. Hmm. Um, Not even two months. Yeah, <laughs> and this is the core. This is what they call bird's nest core. It's real stringy. Uh, get a good quality, uh, and what I do, what I do is just kind of form it to the tube. So I've got a tube right over here. Grab one. And I just kind of form it to the tube, and then just just insert it down in there, like like so. And I get get it up about that high and then I'll put my seed in there and then I'll use some real fine core. Um, I've got some in this bucket. And this is the this is your normal core like this. So I'll put my seed in there and then cover my seed with the core like that and water it, stick it in the uh, grow bed and I found out that if you do it this way the seed germinates right in there. You don't have to take and stop it, uh, disturb it any for uh, transplanting. And a couple of months and you've got a plant ready to go. I'm trying, I just started doing this. I, I, uh, I'm gonna try uh, cutting, rooting it in here. So mm. that's, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, I did some before and uh, some made it and some didn't, so. Hmm. So this is one of their seedlings and they lost the top of it 
and so they put it next to the greenhouse and they've been feeding it with the fish water and this is what it's doing.